Hey guys, my name is Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. I'm a Canadian mom of two and here in this video I'm going to talk to you about how I do a meal plan for the whole month so that I only have to grocery shop once a month um, and also uh, just getting like fruits and vegetables and milk like some really small essential things in the middle of the month but I do the bulk of my shopping at the beginning of the month and I've had a lot of questions saying how I do that or how I manage to get organized enough to plan for the month so I thought it would be beneficial to do a video about this and tell you how I go about doing it. What I would eventually like to do is do a scheduled meal plan so for example every Monday we have the same snack and the same protein say for supper so say I have Mondays or chicken, Tuesdays or salmon, whatever it is, um, then I'll have something different each week. So like chicken um, drumsticks week one with shake and bake, week two chicken breasts with blah blah blah. So just make it a little different each week but have the same sort of structure, especially for snacks. Um, and that way hopefully I'll be able to get a little more organized when I buy because as you guys have been able to tell from my grocery hauls, I do buy a little too much. <laughs> I'm gonna say a little too much. Like I do buy too much often and or run out of things like last month I ran out of so many things on my list were a little longer than I would like them to be um, just for the top up sort of weeks so anyway I'm still working on it but that's what I would eventually like to do but I'm just going to show you what I have in place right now so the system I'm doing right now is I plan out my dinners as you can see here and then I have some breakfast ideas up here, some lunch ideas down here, and some snack ideas here so that I can just go refer to this when I need an idea and just grab it depending on what we have. And then here is all of my recipes, which I know is scary. I'm working on putting them all in here and I do have a bunch um, in here already. And each time I make something, I try to copy it out onto a card for here. If it's some, pardon me, something that we'd like to have. Um, but all these are just like different recipes that I need to just go through. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. And then I have, of course, my paper for my new, new meal plan here. Um, I just have a big list. Now this is perforated and it goes into two different lists. Obviously it's not what the intended use is, but I'll do no frills here, food basics here, and then Walmart on the next page. As you can see, my kids have gotten into it. But anyway, so I do three different grocery lists. Uh, where I think things will be on sale. I'll look at this, the flyers ahead of time to see what's on sale. Um, and then I will know, for, depending on what I need, which list to put that on. This paper is for an inventory. I'm gonna show you right now what's already in my pantry, fridge, and freezers. That's how I start my meal plan, um, is I collect an inventory of what I have already. And then I'll refer to this to know what I need to buy and also what meals I can make from what I already have. So I'll start here on my pantry. We're really low on food, which is great. We're about to go away um, for a couple days on the weekend. And so I'm happy to have it pretty cleared out at the end of the month here. Um, usually there's cereals and crackers here, but we ate everything. So we're out. So what I would do is go through my condiments and see what I need. Then I've got some shake and bake here, which I'll use. Someone gave me two bags of cornstarch. I've been trying to do recipes with a lot of cornstarch because I have so much. You know, a couple of graham crackers left, Oreo crumbs, even a little bit of dark chocolate. Like, that's impressive. Um, so here I keep, like, beans and stuff. There's tons of beans, so I'm trying to go through those. Um, some breadcrumbs, some hard oats. Is that what they're called? Steel cut? Steel cut oats. A little bit of couscous. I've had this milk here, dried milk, because I've been meaning to make buns. So hopefully I can do that this month. Just some straws, a big bag of quinoa, some more panko breadcrumbs, and a big bag of raisins, which is good. Uh, yeah, a lot of couscous and some wheat bran salt that I would just use to put it. I've just been putting things that I've had extra like this, like wheat bran and wheat germ and all these weird sort of things that I don't really use. Um, and I've bought for like one recipe or something. I've just been sticking them in my homemade bread. Um, 
Okay, so moving along to the bottom shelf here. This is all canned stuff. The kids play with it, so as you can see, things are all out of place. But I've got quite a bit of tuna there and vegetables, diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, different soups and beans on the end, and then a random cherry pie filling <laughs> and some random whatever this is, uh, cream of tartar. Yep. Okay, so then the bottom shelf is broths, rice, more rice, and this big box of craft dinner, which I'm so glad my kids have finally started eating. This way back here, I don't even know if you can see, but I keep like bottled water and those scrubby pads and like Gatorade. All right, so this is what my big freezer looks like. I've got over here, I keep my, um, I keep my already cooked meals or like already cooked meat. So as you can see, there's quite a few. I've um, done a pretty good job of kind of stocking that back up this month. So I'll go through there and see there's a spaghetti sauce. We can have spaghetti one night and I'll use that to make my meal plan. So I'll write all of this down. Um, I've got some bread for my husband, some buns to go with some turkey dinners. This is fish guts and we keep it in the freezer because um, it gets so stinky in the garbage. Like you have to just take it out the day of garbage day or just stink up the house. Um, okay. So then I've got some like meat. Here. This is all meat, bread and beans. All right. This is our fridge freezer. So on the door here, everything could use a good clean. So don't judge me there. I've got my two yeast and some hot dogs and then just a couple of butter. Okay, so then I've got these, I keep these cooked uh, meats in here for my husband because he likes to just grab those sometimes for lunch. So there's like sausage and chicken there. Um, then I've got the oh, sorry, I just brought some bags of cheese in the back. You can't really see. Um, some spinach and vegetables are on that side. And then you've got like breads over here and berries and fruits in the middle um, with like I said, a few breads. Uh, here and there. Sorry, so there's also some burritos, some veggie burritos back there. And then I'll look in my fridge, which again also needs a good clean. So I've got lots of dairy left, which is great. Um, so I probably won't need much of that. Some bread and condiments. I've just put our dinners here for tonight on plates already just because we're leaving in the morning and I just want to be able to have everything packed up and ready and also a snack for my husband tonight, some carrots and dip. And the, the last place I have food is over in this cupboard, but this is usually full of fruits, but it is empty. And I've got my fruits over here. We've only got a few apples left. <laughs> I also um, keep my flour in here so I can take a look to see if I need flour, which that one looks really full. That's processed white flour and this is the whole wheat so yeah those look pretty full those should last me the month I think I just bought them um, last month so they usually last me a few months okay so here I've got I'm gonna need more sugar probably I've got sugar and baking supplies basically here and up here is like pastas and nuts and up here is stuff I'm just trying to go through that I've had forever um, rice, which is fine. The rice is fine, but the this one has like split peas and lentils, which is good. I'm going through the lentils. Um, and then popcorn, too. We go through a lot of popcorn. That's where I store that, but it's mostly like the split peas. So if you guys have any good recipes for split peas, please put them in the comments below because I have so many. Like that whole thing is nearly full of split peas. And yes, I know about split pea soup, but that's about it. So if I can throw those on anything else, Please let me know. Okay, so here I've written out all of the days of the month on the side here. And then all the Sundays I've put leftovers because we always have leftovers on Sundays. I don't like to cook on Sundays. Um, so I just make sure on Saturday I do something that's a little bit bigger to make sure I have enough leftovers for um, for the Sunday. I always bring up my calendar as well because if there's a day that we're away or you know, we have an appointment at dinner time or something, I'll make sure to do a crock pot meal that day or put takeout if we're eating out. So I start by basically taking the things um, from my meal plan from last month that we always have or that uh, I know I wanna have again this month. So like we always have pizza once a week. So I'll put that somewhere. And then the other thing I do is if I have something left over from um, last month that I need to use right away that's gonna go bad, then I'll put those meals in the beginning of the month. And then I know that I go, I try to go shopping mid-month, if not every week for fresh vegetables, but I'll go by mid-month and I will put here things that I can just use, um, meals that I can just use things from the freezer. For example, I have a meal that's pork chops, 
um, and uh, potatoes and carrots in like a barbecue sauce that I put in the oven. So I know that I always have potatoes and carrots that last me that long. Like I'll always have those at this time. So I'll put that here. Or um, there's a meal I make with frozen vegetables, for example. Then I'll put this here because I know that they will last me that long without needing to go to the grocery store. Whereas if I'm making something with a lot of fresh vegetables and fresh herbs or whatever, I'll put that near the beginning of the month to make sure that I have that available. I usually go through and I'll put in meals that I already know how to make because I find when I do too many new recipes, then I get really discouraged from cooking for some reason. Like if it's something I really have to pay attention to and you know follow the new recipe and whatever, then I'll will eat takeout more often than not because I just get so discouraged. Like I have a hard time for some reason just sticking to it and just like making the dinner. So, but if I have a lot of things on there that I already know how to make that I already know we like, then it's a lot easier for me. So I sort of fill up, I'd say like three quarters of my meal plan with things I already know how to make and already like. But I do wanna go through my new recipes because I have a lot as you can see and I really like getting new cookbooks and stuff. We do enjoy trying different meals and so I will put those in of course. So I just take my list and I see that I've got, you know, two cans of crushed pineapples so I know that I can make pizza with that. So I'll start with the meats and then I'll say, okay, I've got this many chicken breasts. Let's have whatever, whatever. And so I'll put that on. Hey guys. <laughs> so here is my finished meal plan. I've got potato stroganoff with hamburger helper, croissant chicken sandwich, shake and bacon broccoli soup, tomato soup stir fry, pork tacos, leftover fast leftovers, I do fat leftovers every Sunday, nachos, CC sauce with penne, meatloaf, tacos, the Lone Star style, I tried to rip off the uh, Lone Star fish tacos, <laughs> I think they're pretty good, uh, it's called Good Grub, which is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe, um, chicken fajita pasta, leftovers again, chicken florentine, another Trim Healthy Mama, uh, another Trim he Healthy Mama after that, cab a sous skillet, Pardon me, garlic, pork chops, potatoes, and carrots, pizza, black bean quesadillas, blue cheese, blue cheese burgers. That's a Rachel Ray recipe. It's really good. Um, sweetie on steroids, another Trim Healthy Mama. Fried fish and wedges, Philly cheesecake, cheesesteak meatloaf, sorry. Um, chicken fried rice, pizza, chicken breast and Caesar, Italian sausage, and something soup. What is that? Chicken laison, laison, I don't know braised beef roast, and white bean shishaka. Thanks so much for watching this meal plan video, guys. If you have any questions for me, please just put them in the comments below. I try to reply to every comment, so I will do my best to answer them for you. Or if there's something I didn't address that you're curious about, then definitely just let me know. Also, if you have any tips for doing a meal plan that you want to leave below, I would love to read them, and I'm sure other people would too. So please put those below. Um, and also give us a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. And please subscribe to my channel as well.